Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the sway bar and links on a BMW uh, X3. It's the F25 version and this is the 2.0 liter diesel engine. So we're gonna change these guys. Um, sometimes there's trouble with uh, undoing it. Now we have a I don't know, it's a Torx, yeah, it's a T35 or something, the interior, and it's gonna be 70 maybe outside. Um, sometimes it's pretty hard to undo this because you kind of have to hold the interior part to undo the top part. We're gonna send it first with the electric uh, key and see how far it's gonna come out and after we're gonna use um, the tox to to hold it uh, here is the lower part is the same and the same thing on the other side as you can see i already put some uh, uh, wd-40 on it let's hope it's gonna help us the funny thing about these sway bar endings is that when you lift the car up on an elevator or something, you can't really make them move, or maybe just a little. I can make this move a little, little, but the other one, I think not at all. Yeah, and when the car was on the floor, it was very easy to move them. They has a big play on them, so. So I was wrong about the key. It's an 80 millimeter. Just how I thought. We will have to put a tox inside and do it with that one. So that's the only way we're gonna do it. We have a T40 Torx in the middle of the bolt and we're gonna have a simple 80 millimeter. And that's how we're gonna try to undo it. And it actually works. And it's gonna take a while, but that's the only way to do it. So as you can hear, it's on the end already, the nut, but we are not taking out because first we're gonna loosen up the bottom part as well. Here we have our new part. Take care because it's different from the, the left from the right. I think we'll have to adjust it a little so you can put it in.
as you can see this was very 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 bad very bad shape So what I did here is uh, I pushed up the front right wheel right now and now I'm gonna tighten the sway bar and links. Uh, maybe you don't, you don't need this, you can just put on the wheels on the car and let the car down or maybe you are doing this down, that's good. And it's very important to have weight on the wheel uh, when you are tightening the sway bar links you don't want to tighten them in the air as when the the wheel is very far from the the chassis so that's why in this situation i pushed it up with this jack and now i'm gonna tighten it down